The new school term started last week for many kids, including the hundreds of pupils who've been permanently excluded. Many of these students end up in pupil referral units where they're given a last chance to turn things around. Earlier this year, Tara Welsh was given exclusive access to a referral unit in Sutton as pupils began preparing for their crunch time exams. Hello. It's January and the first day of term at Limes College. The students are beginning to arrive after their Christmas break. Welcome back. Hey. Are we going to have an absolutely superb day hey. with no wandering and no rudeness and yes. no you your right Nothing in there, I haven't got anything. Security is tighter here and there are more staff to pupils than at other schools. Here, they teach kids that have been kicked out of mainstream education. You are right. How are points gone? Who's got some good points, Jim? It's head teacher Emma Bradshaw's job to get these students back into mainstream school or ready for college. But there are daily challenges. <laughs> it's only the first day, and already teachers are dealing with a year nine pupil who's become agitated after having her lighter confiscated. All of the young people that come here, they are acting out or they've got things going on for them, um, which is why they're here. You know, that's why they've got excluded. Sometimes the staff have to restrain students, but today the situation's resolved without doing so. Eventually, the outreach worker went and picked her mum up and mum took her off site and got her out of the building without anybody getting hurt or anything being damaged. Um, but that's... 40 minutes out of six staff's day. If you shout back or you raise your voice, you act in any way which is, is, is kind of antagonising. You're only going to make it worse. It's like putting petrol on flames. So it's really important to stay calm. <laughs> this is Annie Lee. She's 16 and has been here for a year. This is an important term for her. She's got a few months to go before she does her GCSEs in English, Art and Maths. She needs to get C's or above to get a place at college. I want to become a firefighter. I've already joined fire cadets, that's like the first step. And then when I go to college, I want to do public services. She was excluded for constant bad behaviour. Just kept on getting into trouble, just going for a bit of a rough patch and so just got kicked out. Oh, it was horrible. That's probably one of the worst things I've ever had to go through. There are about 100 children at Limes College, but a place here isn't cheap. It costs around £17,000. That's three times more than a place at mainstream school. That's because for this age group, there's one staff member to every eight children. Well, can you tell me about this whole description? As well as social and emotional issues, Half of the students have special educational needs and almost all have speech and language difficulties. We have a, a lot of young people that come here labelled as naughty children, that they're out of control, um, that they're disrespectful, they're not following instructions. But actually, once you begin to start assessing them, some of them can't read, some of them can't write. Even here, some pupils just can't cope in the classroom. So to keep them in education, they can tailor a programme to suit their needs. Three miles down the road, Silk Training works in partnership with Limes and offers a range of construction skills. I did start to struggle with Limes and I was close to getting kicked out. I said to them, can they put me off site? Sunny has dyslexia and autism spectrum disorder. But like so many children excluded from school, his needs weren't picked up until he'd already been kicked out. I found it easier and more stuff I like doing because like, I'm more hands-on than paperwork and all that. Sonny's already secured a place on a bricklaying apprenticeship, but before he starts, he has to finish his course in construction. But hopefully, when I do have my seat in Guilds, it will be easier for me to get a job like, in the future. Hi, in here, please. Go on, it's a bit for real. Let's go through these and decide which one you think you're going to peck out. As the term progresses, Annie Lee is excelling in art, but struggling with maths. Me and maths don't get along. I've always had a challenge with maths. So every day, she chooses to stay behind to revise 
and to do her coursework. That was probably the best thing I've ever done with Inter Lance. Get more one to one with a teacher. I love it. Wish I'd come here before. She needs to get good grades to get into college, but she hopes joining the fire cadets will also help her get experience doing her dream job. Last year I used to do like really silly things and I never used to be like, why did I do that? But this year it's, like, it's more dedicated. I always work my exams, just having a positive outlook. It's May and this is a big day for Sonny. Sonny Cooksey, please. He's finished his construction course and he's here to collect his City and Guild certificate. Where he has uh, grown in confidence, that's made him excel throughout all of the courses that he's done with us. Um, he's one of our highest achievers. For myself, I think I've come quite far, and when I come here, it actually helped me a lot and actually gave me something good that I wanted to do. I'm feeling good. But he still has one last hurdle before the year's finished. Over the next few weeks, he has to return to Limes to sit his maths and English GCSEs. It's June and the Year 11s are halfway through their exams, but getting them here can be a challenge. Nigel's back in today. She should be. Okay, I just can't get a hold of her. The maths exam starts in a few minutes, but one pupil still hasn't arrived. She, the bus drivers aren't letting her on because she's obviously got an Oyster card. So okay. Lydia's actually free. Might need you to go up to Belmont. Maybe you can text me the address. I'll ringing, Mum. But here, there is staff on hand to collect latecomers. She's not got long. Come! Come! A few minutes later, the girl arrives with just minutes to spare. What's happened this morning? Sounds like something. And inside, it's been too frustrating for Sonny. He gives up halfway through the two-hour paper. I can't, just can't bother to sit in that room, it just annoys me. Yeah. Maths, English, all that, it's just no. Sonny academically has struggled and he's done so well in his vocational courses, uh, flying colours, he will be fine. You are? Yeah, it's a night off. How did you find that? Yeah, it weren't as bad as what I thought it would be. It was alright. The other one was a lot easier, but there you go. I want it to look really good for the last day. It's an exciting time for Annie Lee. She's just been offered a conditional place at college and today she's going to an event to celebrate finishing school. A little bit nervous. I'm excited though, like everyone getting together, saying their goodbyes, talking about lots of memories and I'm looking forward to a new start. Growing up, go to college and make my family proud. When it comes to this, and a celebration day, it's actually quite nice to say, to say our goodbyes. And they look confident and happy and they know that they've achieved something. Done really well. Done really well. Right, this is really Thank difficult. You. Goodbye. <laughs> All that's left is to find out how they've scored in their exams. It's August and time to get the GCSE results. How are you feeling? Nervous. I want an A and R. I don't know what that means. The A's up here, and if we draw a line over to there, it's in between an A and an A star. It's the highest mark <laughs> in the whole school in any subject. It's really good. Annie Lee got a C in English, but the equivalent of an E in maths. So she's going to have to retake and hope the college will accept her without it. Yeah, I'm pretty much pleased. I kind of knew that I was going to have to retake maths. I'm glad I got my English and. Yeah, it's nice to know that I've got a high mark, highest mark of the school, so that's good. I believe that proves one of the key indicators for pupil referral units and schools like Limes is to judge us on destinations. Where do the children and young people go to and do they stick in those destinations and are they becoming productive adults in our society?